A block of mass M is pulled along a horizontal surface at a constant speed by a force F applied, which acts at an angle of theta with respect to the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface is mu. The normal force exerted on the block by the surface is... So the first thing we're going to do is to write down Newton's second law. So we know that the net force is equal to mass times acceleration, ma. And now what we want to do is to break this force into its two components. So we have uh, x component pointed here towards the right. And then we have a y component pointing straight up. Now for the y component of the force, if we add up the forces acting on this block, we see that we have mg is acting down, we have f applied y acting up, and because it's still along the surface, we know that there's going to be a normal force acting on the object, and we're also told that there is a coefficient of kinetic friction. So we have a force due to friction also acting on our block. If we now take all the ones in the y direction, we would see that we have Fn plus F applied y minus mg is equal to ma. But the acceleration in the y direction is going to be zero because we're not leaving the surface, so that's zero. Fn and Fa applied y are both positive because they're in the positive y direction, they're both pointing upward, and mg is pointing down the negative direction. If we now solve this for fn, we would get fn is equal to mg minus the y component of the applied force. Now, if we try to determine this, what fn is, we have to determine what f applied y is with respect to f applied. Now in order to do that we would apply Sokatoa. So knowing that we would use sine of theta is equal to the opposite which is the y component of the applied force over the hypotenuse which is the applied force. Now if we solve for the y component of the applied force we would get that it's equal to the applied force times the sine of theta. This would give us that Fn is equal to mg minus the applied force times sine of theta. So now if we look at our answer, answer choices, we would see that it would correspond to answer B, mg minus the force applied times sine theta.